Today we're going we're going to uh, learn about Kolmogorov complexity. So this is a practical introduction to get you started calculating the stuff. Um, so what do we mean by complexity? Uh, so the the one definition is the characterization of beha uh, of the behavior of a system. So um, this is a measure that characterizes the behavior. So when the part interact in different way it brings um, a higher level um, a behavior which is the emergence um, of the interaction and this emergence usually is greater than the sum of the part so it's this this interaction that uh, the the complexity is describing so if we think about animals um, a fish has a less a smaller complexity than a human being even though their cells is is pretty much uh, the same right so um, it's a measure that if we had an algorithm that calculated the complexity of those two animals, uh, the human will be a bit higher complexity, depending on the fish. Okay, so Kolmogorov complexity. So this name came from Andrei Nikolo Nikolaevich Kolmogorov. So this guy is a uh, Russian and he is a mathematician who uh, studied randomness, probability theory and complexity. And it's the later part, the complexity that is interesting to us. The Kolmogorov complexity of an object such as a piece of text is the length of the shortest computer program um, that produced the, produced the object as output. So it's the functional encoding of the, the message, the string or the object. So let's look at an example. So if we have two string over here, we have this, the first one, which is a, b, a, b, a, whatever, 16 time, and the string two, which is purely randomly generated. So the first one will have a small col uh, Kolmogorov complexity, uh, while the second one will have a higher Kolmogorov complexity. Because the first one, if we made the Python script, let's say, we will just need to do uh, return a times uh, a a b times 16, and that's pretty short. While the other one, we will need to make a function of the return the whole string, because there's no way to generate this um, consistently. So that's, that's the idea, and the, the size of this computer program uh, for the first one and the second one um, will be the Kolmogorov complexity. Will it be Python? Maybe not, it depends. Um, this is a bit unclear. So uh, are we gonna write programs to, to do the Kolmogorov complexity? No. In practice, what do we do? Usually you can't, um, get the real Kolmogorov complexity of an object. You estimate it and you get an upper bound. That's that's usually what, how it's done. And uh, we use for this uh, the uh, compression, compression algorithm. So we use lossless, lossless compression algorithm. And um, by doing this, we can we compress the object and we look at the decompression of the object. And that decompression, the size of that program is um, an, es an upper estimate of the Kolmogorov complexity. So basically this is what we have. We have the k of the object, smaller or equal than the size of the compressed object. So let's say a string. So we put it into our compressor plus the source code of the decompressed uh, function. So the size of this whole thing is the Kolmogorov complexity. So uh, usually what you do is uh, to estimate it, you uh, make a self, um, self-extracting archive of the object and uh, the size of this thing is your complexity and basically um, you do that for every every file that you want to to get the complexity of and uh, you compare them together and that's that's usually how it's done so let's do an ends on example so let's make a quick experiment uh, we're going to generate two files file one and file two file one will be uh, it's going to be a constant string that that has it like an order and the second file will be a randomly generated string. So it's going to be of size um, a million character, basically. So let's generate this. This is a code. Basically this, you give the message and the size of it and you just, you, you augment it. Um, this is Python, by the way. And this over here, we, for the randomness, we just give the size and we just pick a random letter. So there's no order. And then we just concatenate again and again and then we print the message so let's go and run this we're gonna do um first one so is this saved 
yes so let's let's look at let's look at it it look like this so that's a lot and then if we if we do this one oops it should look weirder so this is there's no order right so let's put the first one in the file file one.txt good and then let's put the second one file file two all right so file one look like this file two look like this let's compress them and look at their Kolmogorov complexity we're going to use 7-zip it doesn't matter at all and we want a lossless uh, compression and um, well, I think just this will be enough so let's go let's zip the second one right okay so um, if we look at those two the first uh, first of all this is not the exact Kolmogorov complexity this is an, an upper estimate okay uh, but here it's a comparison that matters more than uh, the actual numbers so if we look at file one the zip file is three kilobytes which is really, really small um, it really way smaller than this guy because there's um, there's a repeating repeating pattern that we can use right and over here this is file two it's uh, 977 kilobyte um, we can go only down to 714 kilobytes so if we the upper Kolmogorov complexity for this one will be 7, uh, 14, and this one will be 3. So um, what we can say about this is that uh, file 2 is um, two, 200 times more complex than uh, file 1, basically. So I hope you enjoyed this. So this is uh, just a quick introduction to the to complexity. There's other um, definition for complexity and other uh, ways of calculating. This is just one of them. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, just let me know.